other tons once again this afternoon i want to work on how to remove back the grand of a picture in photoshop without wasting much of your time let's swing to action now i'm going to open a folder where i want to pick my picture right now i want to work on this picture so i'll click on it and drag it down so once i drag it i'll drop it here in my workspace okay having dropped it in my workspace you come to the submit transformation and click on the mark line so after then you come and pick your brush tool so here you pick your brush tool so immediately you select on the brush tool there are, you can right click on it when you right click on it you see object selection you see quick selection tool and you see magic one tool right now i want to work on object selection tool so once you click on the object selection tool you click and drag the mouse down the image just like this and you leave it it's working out automatically to select the image okay this may take like less than one minute two minutes depending on how fast your system is okay right now my work is about to set okay you see that all look at all this selection is that it selected automatically and appropriately so the next thing you want to do now is you come here where you have your layer and mask you say add layer marks okay after adding the layer marks that is the layer marks has automatically removed every aha uh -huh. so we have only the image now so you go to file select save as type the name okay and you come to the save as type then you pick png png you click on png and you click save then you click large file size depending on the value of the work okay i've saved this now okay so that's how to save as png now if i want to change the background of this image now i want to uh, put in or insert another background so what i will do is i'll come to this where you have indicate layer visibility i'll click on the eye symbol there and here i have blank space again so now i want to click on rectangle to right click then you pick rectangle then you draw the rectangle okay after drawing the rectangle automatically this edit uh we call we spring up so now i'm going to pick you see fill so i want to fill it with gradients so i have series of gradients here so let me see my gradients let me see this let me see this so from here you automatically pick any gradient you want okay if you actually want a gray gradient you have cloud gradient okay here are gradients that you can use okay but for me as for this work i'm going to use this gradient now now so here we have the stroke that is the line so if you want to increase the stroke you can just click and increase it to this you see so that is to form a frame 
you can reduce the stroke to this but in this sense I want to remove the stroke okay so now what I want to do is I want to adjust the stuff like this okay now I'm going to make visible the image so I'll click on it and drag it up the background wow so this is another this is how to change a background of any image okay now this image i want to work on it so you come to here we have blending option so i want to add some options to the image now so now i want to add drop shadow okay so after dropping the shadow you double click on it so now you have contour now the contour i, I will choose linear contour and here the capacity of the uh, shadow you see the effect of it and here you drop it at multiple okay the speed of the shadow if you reduce it you can reduce it you can increase it the distance let it remain at four okay let me just apply this and see okay the shadow i will still work on the shadow again so i'm going to increase the shadow to 80 then the distance to five okay okay the color shadow i drop it at black and i'll say okay let's see what we have okay you can see there is a shadow background on it so then the next thing you want to do you go to file click save then you save this as jpeg yes you choose jpeg then you save the file then you say ok so this is the end of today's tutorial don't forget to hit on the notification button don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i would love to see your comment in the comment section for encouragement thank you till we meet again god bless you i remain at the tools graphics keep practice graphics divine the world